Hi everyone, I'm sorry I've been gone so long, it's been like two months I think, um, I'm sorry for that, because I've got some subscribers now and I'm really 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 grateful um, to you for um, watching my channel, and so I'm glad to be back, I've had a lot going on in my life at the minute, like, you know, just like personal issues and I haven't been reading that much, well I've been reading but not like masses amounts and then it's like finding the time to make a video and it's, it's just not been happening. But I'm really grateful to everyone who's watching my reviews and all my subscribers, so thank you very much. And also I just want to say sorry for my appearance. Um, I've just been in the shower and I've not done anything with my hair or anything. But I like to make videos when there's no one in the house and there is no one in the house now. So I took the opportunity and thought, you know, I'll go for it. I'll make a couple of videos. I'm going to do a book haul for you all now, I think. And then later on I'll probably do a review of a book I've been reading to review for a while now. So, like I said, I've got a book haul, and it's a pretty big one. It's, I think it's 15 books, and then I've got, like, two e-books, which I won't spend too much time on. But, yeah, 15 books, I think. So, I've not been reading that much, but I have been buying books. It's been a pretty um, good couple of weeks for me. You probably won't get this um, many very often from me. I don't buy proper books that often, because I have a Kindle, and I tend to buy most of, most of my books on that. But, um it's been a good couple of weeks for me so you get a nice decent book haul which is good uh, I don't know if I'll get this done in 15 minutes because in case you can't already tell I tend to ramble a lot so I'm not going to rush if it's two parts it's two parts because if I rush then the video is awkward and it's not good so first off like I said I've got two ebooks which I can't really show you but they're on my lovely Kindle here in my hot pink Kindle case and oh, I love this thing I know a lot of people um, don't really like e-readers. I mean, I love, you know, physical books as much as the next person, but I love that Kindle. It's just, I could not live without it. And the books I got on that were, I got, um, really cheap. I got, I think it's called, oh, it's the first in the, I know it's the first, I think it's My Soul to Save. The first in that series by Rachel Vincent, I think it is. I got the first one in that series, which I've been meaning to read for a while. It was like really cheap. I think it was 89p, which is, you know, amazing. And I've been meaning to read it for a while. And like, um, yeah, so it was really cheap. Meaning to read it for a while. So I got it on my Kindle. And I know that it's about um, banshees, I think. It's paranormal romance. And that sounded really different and interesting. So I got that. And also on my Kindle. I got, um, you're going to kill me when you realise I've not read this series yet, but no I haven't, I'm way behind I know. I got City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, did I say your name right? I, I don't know. But <laughs> I got that book which I'm sure you all know what that's about, I'm not sure myself, Shadow Hunters or something, but I'm sure you all know that series anyway, so um, I got that City of Bones, that was like a pound. So, you know, some great deals on Amazon for the Kindle at the minute. So, yeah, I was really thrilled with that. And that's what I got for my Kindle. And now on to the proper books. And this is the one I'm reading at the minute. It's a bit battered. I'm terrible for looking after books. I do a terrible job. And that's Paper Towns by John Green. Um, I bet most of you know what this is about, but I'll read the back anyway. It says, Who is the real Margot? Quinton Jacobson has spent a lifetime loving the magnificent, adventurous Margot Ross Spilgerman from afar. So when she opens his bedroom window late one night and summons him to join her in an ingenious campaign of revenge, he follows. After their all-nighter ends and a new day breaks, Q arrives at school to find that Margot has not. Always, as an, enig always an enigma, she now becomes a mystery and Q soon learns that there are clues to be followed in his search for Margot. So that's Pip Towns by John Green. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far, like I said, that's what I'm reading at the minute. I've read Looking for Alaska by him, like, years ago, when I was, like, 13 or 14. I'm 17 now, so it was it was a few years ago, and I really enjoyed it. And this is um, the first book of his I've read since, but I really love his um, Vlog Brothers channel. So, um, really excited to do that, really enjoying it. Like the back says, it's about a girl called Margot who um, like sweeps her next door neighbour off on this adventure one night and then um, she disappears and it's about him 
trying to find her basically. So really enjoying that, that's what I'm reading at the moment. And then, ooh, ah, that's the right one. Oops, books fall into the floor here, that's never good. Put that back there. I have got, again, this is another series I can't believe I've not yet read yet. I have Shiver by Maggie Stiff. I can't say her name, I'm not going to butcher it. But yes, Shiver, I'm sure you all know what book I mean. I believe it's the series is called The Wolves of Mercy Falls or something. So yeah, I won't read the back of this one because everyone knows about this series. And I really, really, really love the cover. I think it's so pretty. And like on the inside, I really like this. It like carries on onto the inside, which I think is so cool. Um, and there again, oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, I had to buy this. It's not on the Kindle either, so that, you know, made the decision for me anyway. But when I saw how pretty the cover was, I was like, I need a physical copy of that book. So I've got that, Shiver by Maggie Stiffarter, or, you know. And then I also had the sequel, Linger, because it was on um, Free for Two in um, Wardstones. And I thought, I've heard so much good things about this series, and it sounds so good that I um, knew for sure that I'd like it. So that's the sequel, Linger. So, really excited for that as well, once I've actually read Shiver. Because I haven't actually read any of these books yet. I'm really behind. I need to um, sort it out. And then I have another book that I'm sure you all know what it's about, so I won't bother reading the back. Is Matched by Ali Condi. I love this cover again, it's so pretty. Yeah, and then um, it's quite a big book. I don't know if you see, it's like a bigger than normal size paperback. It's like £10 at the full retail price, so that's quite expensive for a paperback. But, um, yeah. And I know this is about, this is a dystopian about like a world where um, the officials decide who you marry and when you die and all the music and films and stuff you're allowed to listen to. So that sounds really interesting. I'm really looking forward to it. I've heard some mixed reviews. But it sounds like the sort of thing I'll really enjoy, so looking forward to getting around to that one. Very excited. Then I have most of these books, that are, in fact all of them, are like well-known. I like well-known books, so you'll probably know about most of them already. But, you know. This one is The Iron King by Julia Kagawa. Kagawa? Julie Kagawa, I think. Yeah, and this is a fae series, I know that much, it's about fairies, and it's about, a, I'm sure you've heard about it, but it's about a girl who finds out she's the daughter of a fairy king or something like that, and this sounds really interesting and I've heard great things about it, um, another pretty pretty cover, this is actually really cheap on the Kindle now, and I saw that after I bought it, so I was kind of like, damn, but now I've got um, a really pretty you know proper copy of it so pretty pleased with that I like that and then I have The Iron Witch by Karen Mahoney I think that's right I'll read the back of this one it says um, Donna is a freak an outcast branded with iron tattoos that cover her hands and arms she is cursed with a magically enhanced strength that do she does everything she can to hide. But now, the dark exiles of Fairy are coming and Donna must choose between saving her best friend or betraying one of the world's greatest secrets. So this sounds really interesting and different. It's another book about fairies. And I don't think I've really ever read any books about fairies before. I read The Replacement, but do they count as fairies, the, the creatures in that? I don't know. I really enjoyed The Replacement, but... I got this and the Iron King to introduce me to um, you know the Fae books. This I've heard mixed reviews on, but it sounds really good and it's a quick read and it's not like anything I've ever seen before. So really excited to have that one. I think I want to do one more book in this video and then I'll do a part two. I told you I was slow, so slow. Um, again, this is a book you'll all know about. Um, I only just recently got around to reading this series because I'm a terrible person. So, yeah. 
and this book is the third in the Hunger Games series, um, Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. I actually bought the first two Hunger Games books as part of this um, book haul, but um, I've already read them. They were brilliant. I'm obsessed with this series now. Probably the best thing I've read since Harry Potter, I'd even say. Really, really, really love them. But I lent the first one to my friend, and then she took the second one. She, she brought back the first one and took the second one, Catching Fire, and she still has that. And I lent the first one to my dad, and I don't know what he's done with it, but he's finished it and he really liked it as well. And he's waiting on my friend to return um, Catching Fire. But I haven't read Mockingjay yet, because I read the first two one after another, and I don't want the series to end already. I really, really like it. I want to keep the series to last. Oh, I love it so much. But, yeah, you all know what that's about. Really enjoying them. Can't believe I didn't read them sooner. Oh, can I do one more book? I'll do one more book. And then part two is coming. Sorry for my slowness. This is another one you'll all know about anyway. I don't think I um, need to tell you what this one's about. It's, I love this cover. Um, Nightshade by Andrea Kramer. This is another oversized book and it's really huge actually. Massive book. That was like £12 or something. No, it is a lot for a paperback. But, um... This is about um, wolves, I think. I might be wrong. But, yeah, what I really liked about the sound of this one is that it's the girl who has who's, um, supernatural powers, saving a human boy, I do believe. So that sounds different, and it makes a nice change. So I am looking forward to that one, so that's Nightshade. Look how pretty the cover is. It's so pretty. I think I'm going to read this one next after I finish Paper Towns. So, yeah, that one excited okay I'll upload this and then do a part two because I'm slow and then there's like one two three four five six seven books to go so yeah I'll see you guys soon